Okay. What are we looking at? This wind is making it shake. What? We are looking at the sun right now through a hydrogen alpha type telescope. And so this telescope... Sounds expensive. It, eh, a little bit. <laughs> so this telescope, um, it filters out everything except for the hydrogen on the sun. And what that allows us to see are solar flares, prominences, filaments, and of course sunspots. Okay. So you, you got me set up? Oh yeah. Okay, let's take a look. I got it. I think I had different glasses on that day. Perfect. So describe the sunspots if I see them. So you should see about four sunspots. They're tiny little black spots on the surface of the sun. Um, chances are, especially the larger of those four spots, um, is larger than the planet Earth. And uh, all of those are magnetic storms happening on the sun. The cool thing about sunspots is that they're actually the colder parts of the sun. So the sun is about 10,000 degrees, and the sunspots are ranging between four to 6,000 degrees. And they're constantly moving? Constantly moving, changing, growing, shrinking. Um, we are in a point right now with the sun called solar maximum, and so there's a lot more activity. Uh, if you may remember, last year we had aurora here in New York City for the first time in a very long time, twice, once in May and once in October. And, aurora? Uh, yeah, we had we had, a, we like had a northern movie. lights. We had northern <laughs> lights. Okay. And um, that's because of all of this increased activity on the sun. And this happens every 11 years. So once we exit solar maximum, the sun will start to quiet down, and then you'll get less activity, less sunspots, but then it'll ramp back up again in 11 years. That's what I was gonna say, you mentioned four. So it's just four now. Just four now. It's, it's so not it'll, always four. It'll, it's not always four. It'll just, it'll change and shrink. Um, sometimes the sunspots, if they're very close together, they'll merge and they'll get really large. Um, sometimes they just disappear altogether. So. Back in May, when we had the first uh, northern light storm, uh, there was a massive sunspot on the surface of the sun. And uh, the sun rotates just like the Earth does every two weeks. And when the sun, that sunspot came back around two weeks later after it had rotated out of view, that's how large the sunspot was. It didn't even go away. Uh huh. That's it wasn't amazing. as large as it was initially, but it was still pretty big that you could see it even with um, solar viewers. Like if you had like paper glasses from the eclipse last year. Oh, without any magnification?